When your customer wants to deliver cargo locally, how do you handle that? The solution is the cargo release wizard. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. This video shows you how to create a cargo release in your Magaya system. This is the first video in this series. Watch the entire series to see cargo release features, including 3PL and freight forwarding tips along the way. Cargo releases are operations used to release cargo from a warehouse. The cargo is then transferred to a local consignee. Please note, for international shipments, use the ground shipment operation. This way, you can have access to customs features and documents that aren't available in a cargo release. A cargo release in Magaya records carrier information, income and expense charges, cargo descriptions, and much more. You can create cargo releases in the list or document view of the operation in Magaya. For this video, we will create one in the document view. Let's get started. Go to Warehousing and select Cargo Releases. Click the Add button to open the Cargo Release Wizard. This wizard lets you create your cargo release in a step-by-step -step process. You can view and edit the operation after finishing the wizard. Enter general information for your cargo release on the first screen. Some fields will be pre-filled based on your system's information. You can edit these fields if needed. The release date, or the date the cargo will be released from your warehouse, is set to today by default. Change this date if needed. Select the consignee in the Release To field. To change the address, click the Change button. The entity in this field will be set as the Client to Bill by default. If the entity picking up the cargo is a carrier or third party, select that party in the Client to Bill field. The entity selected in this field will be used when charges are generated for your cargo release. Click Next when you are finished with general information. Select a carrier. This opens a list of carriers, or you can add a new one here. Fill in as many fields as you need to. We will skip these and continue. Select the cargo that will be released. Depending on the software you have, you will see a variety of tabs to select commodities from, such as your warehouse receipt list, inventory, and more. If you have the Lot Number tab, you can select items by lot number and see expiration dates. The Scan tab lets you scan items to your cargo release. To use this tab, you will need the Barcode Scanner plugin. See our knowledge base for more information. Click the box next to each item to select it. You can also use the Pieces button to partially load commodities. If a commodity is partially loaded, its box will be shaded in half. Use the Filter button to filter commodities. There are two filter options available, Standard and Advanced. Use the Standard filter to quickly filter commodities. If you still have trouble finding what you need, try the Advanced filter to further refine your list. Here you can choose many options from date to carrier and much more. When you are done selecting items, click Finish to finalize your transaction. When you create your cargo release from the document view, you will immediately see the document on your screen. To change your document template, go to Actions and click Select Template. After making your cargo release, you might wonder how you'll get it out to your staff. You can use the document as a manual task to print or email it to your employees, but why not get this done even faster? We recommend using the task operation in Magaya. The task with instructions on moving the cargo will be sent to your employees. See the description below to watch the video on pick and load tasks. To be sure that you selected the right items, Use the Verify Packing List feature to verify items by serial number. To access this feature, click the Actions button and select Verify Packing List. You can verify your items by scanning each barcode for its serial number. This is especially useful for freight forwarders and 3PLs who handle high volume operations. The Verify Packing List feature also supports part number verification, a common practice for 3PLs. You can also generate labels for your cargo release using the Courier Shipping extension. Go to the Actions button, select Extensions, and click Ship via Courier to generate labels for the delivery. Magaya also gives you flexibility when it comes to receiving transactions from customers. If your customers have LiveTrack, they can send you cargo releases and other documents directly. You can also import a list of cargo releases from customers or, depending on your version of Magaya, generate them from existing sales orders in your system. See our other videos and the Getting Started article in the Knowledge Base for everything you need to work with cargo releases. Thanks for watching.